Good morning, everybody and or anybody. Christian with Make Time for Fishing here back out on Breach Inlet. We have a beautiful day. It's a balmy 45 degrees. It's sunny at least and almost no wind. Uh, it's gonna get up to 50, 52. I'm uh, excited to get going. I'm going after sheep's head again. I'm using those sheep's head bird of prey knocker jigs again. Uh, little bags of oysters, as you know, I like to use. And I'm just gonna get to it. Hopefully we catch some good ones. I'm feeling pretty good about today. I'm at least feeling more comfortable than I have been the last few days because the sun is out. But uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy. This one looks pretty good. I don't remember if I fished this one last time or not. Oh, there's someone there. Pretty solid first fish. Don't know if I mentioned this yet, but I'm not keeping any fish today. This is purely catch and release for fun. Look at the colors on him. Very pretty. So let's get a quick measurement. He's about 16 and a quarter. Let's let him go. There's several sheep's head down here, it seems like. So I was actually sending a text and I just had my bait dangling right off the bottom. I looked up just in time to see this guy take off with it. Dang, that is a gorgeous fish. Look at this guy. Let's get a good look at him. Quick measure. Ooh, 18 and a half, that's a big boy. So I know I said I wasn't keeping any fish today, and I'm not, but a little while ago I ran into a subscriber, Josh, who had actually talked to me before on uh, Instagram, and I gave him some tips about fishing here, and I just ran into him sheep's head fishing, and he said he's trying to keep fish, so if I catch any good ones, uh, he would appreciate it if I threw them his way, so that's what I'm going to do. Small, I think. Oh, maybe he's gone. He might be another keeper. Yeah, I think he's another keeper. I'll measure him. Uh, he's just under. He's like 13 and a half. See you, buddy. Yeah, he, uh, he caught me off guard. Yeah. You get the bond, call up. Will do. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> good. Yeah, good luck. I think there's one down there. Yep. See that? I think it's a good one. another good one. Let's have a little look see at him. Not a bad guy, probably 16 or so. Oh, actually, he's 17. <laughs> 17. Thank you. Nice 17 with that jig sticking out of his mouth. 
He's going to uh, my buddy Josh, he's right over there. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, no problem. There's one there. Little guy. Squeaker sheeper. See ya. I thought he was big because for a second my line wasn't catching on my uh, reel. So <laughs> I thought he was huge. But no. Just a user error. Let's try a couple more docks on the way in. Probably like these three. And then uh, I'll go ahead and call it. Oh, there's one there. That's a good one. <laughs> wow, he really took off. He's probably near 14 inches, I bet. Yeah, he's like 13 and 7 eighths. I'm letting him go. He's just under 14. Okay. Let's see if there's anyone else over here. It seems counterintuitive, but sometimes... Oh, yeah, there's another one. It seems counterintuitive to me, but sometimes one getting hooked seems to get them fired up. <laughs> Little guy, give me my hook and bait back and I'll get you back in the water to trade. Alright. Oh, he demolished it. This is basically just a loose oyster now, so it'll be a miracle if I can actually catch someone on it without just getting robbed. Here we go. Haven't seen him yet. He feels pretty big. No, 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 no. Come on. Get away from there. Okay. Still haven't seen him. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Wow, he's fighting really hard. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man. You never know. That might be another 20 incher. That is a big, big fish. <laughs> right in the lip. Popped out. <laughs> Look at how tall that fish is. He is 19 and a half. That is a toad. Look how fat it is. That is a giant. <laughs> okay. See you, buddy. Oh, wait, this is a fish? I had no idea. No, 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 no. Oh. What just happened? That must have been a drum. All right, well, I'm calling it a day after that break off I just had. I, that was bizarre, even for sheep's head fishing. I whipped it up, I never felt a bite and it felt like I got caught in an oyster. I didn't feel it move. I lifted it up a little harder and it took off on me. I don't know if it was a big black drum or if it was just a giant sheep's head, but I really didn't have much of a chance there. I had no idea it was coming. 
Uh, but besides that, I had a great day, caught a few good sized fish, including that giant right at the end, not the one that broke me off. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching if you made it this far and remember to make some time for fishing. Bye. See you next time. Thank you.